hello everyone welcome to the practice session in the practice session that we did so far we completed exercise one by going through all the steps and in our lectures 10 11 and 12 we also discussed about the various steps of exercise one and two and now we'll start exercise two in the practice session today so we'll have a brief introduction to this exercise two and then we'll go about understanding step one now we can see that there are three exercises to be taken up in terms of practice session and in all these exercises we are trying to see the reality through our direct observation we have already discussed some part of the content and we're discussing some content further but in the practice sessions we are trying to see the things that we are discussing in our lectures through our direct observation and there are three things to be observed so the first exercise was about observing the self by the self that is the consciousness observing the consciousness now the second exercise that we are going to start today and about which we already discussed to some extent uh, we are going to observe the interaction of the self and the body so the body has to be observed by the self and that is to say the consciousness is observing the material and in exercise three that we are not going to take up in this course essentially what we are trying to do the consciousness is observing the coexistence. So we try to observe the coexistence. And in that process, we try to observe the distance between the self and the body and the relationship between the self and the body. So in exercise one, we try to observe the self by the self. And I hope by now you must have been able to understand all the seven steps of exercise one. And I hope you are also practicing these steps. Now in exercise two, we are trying to observe the body and the interaction taking place between the self and the body. And as you can see that this observation is going to be made by the self because the self is the seer, isn't it? So initially, the self was the seer as well as the object of attention, that is the scene. Now we are going to observe the body and the interaction taking place between the self and the body. Let me also say that this is just one way of observing the reality and not the only way, isn't it? So the steps mentioned in this exercise are one possible set of steps and not the only set of steps. And as we have been saying time and again, that this is again an open proposal for you to observe on your own right and try to see the reality. So in our lectures, we already have been able to understand how self and body coexist. So the needs of the self are different from the needs of the body. The activities of the self are different from activities of the body and the response is also different, isn't it? So we are able to understand that yes, self and body are two different realities, isn't it? We can also see that the self is the conscious unit and the body is a material unit. And now we are going to understand this through our direct observation. Now in our lectures, we already have the clarity that the self and the body are two distinct realities. The self is a conscious entity and the body is a material entity. The needs of the self and body are entirely different. The activities of the self and the body are also different and the response is also different. So this clarity we already have. Now we are going to understand this through our direct observation. So just try to see how do you make out that you are there? How do we make out that the body is there? Have you ever given a thought to this? How do you know that the body is there? How do you know that you are there? How do you know that you coexist with the body? What do you think? So let us try to observe this. So you'll see that there is a self, that is me, that is you, and there is a body, the material entity. The two are coexisting, and there is transaction of information between the self and the body. So the only transaction that is taking place between the self and the body is of information. There is no material transaction taking place here. So you can see that the consciousness, that is the self, is transacting information with the body, which is a metal unit. And the transaction is taking place in the form of instruction from the self to the body and sensation from the body to the self, isn't it? And this is all information. There is no material transaction taking place here. Instruction would mean that when I'm talking to you, I'm instructing my body, isn't it? So I have some feeling, some thought in me. I'm selecting what to say, what not to say, and then I am transacting this information to the body and then the expression is taking place. Similarly, when I'm looking at the screen, right? So some sensation is reaching me based on which I decide what to say and what not to say, isn't it? 
So this kind of transaction is taking place regularly between me and the body. Now we are going to observe this more closely. So there are seven steps here. We have already gone through the seven steps in our lectures and now we'll try to go through them one by one and practice them. When step one, we are making the following important observations about the self and the body. So one observation is that I am there and that is to say that the consciousness is there. Now, how do I know that I am there? How do you know that you are there? So you'll see that you are able to see that you are there on the basis of observing that is seeing your own activities. How do you become aware of yourself by observing your activities? The self is a reality. It does exist. It is an existential reality. And I do come to know of it by observing my activities, isn't it? So how do you know that the body is there? So you are able to know this on the basis of observing or reading the sensation from the body. So for example, when I look at my body, I observe my hands are there. Now what is happening here? The sight of the hand is reaching my eyes. From the eyes, it is coming to me as a sensation and I want to make out that if the hands are there and these hands are a part of the body, isn't it? I look at the other parts of the body and I make out that if the body is there. When I stand in front of the mirror, I have the sight of the front part of my body. And from there, I'm able to make out that if the body is there. Here again, some sight is reaching me. So some sensation is coming from the body to the self. The body is a reality. It does exist. It is an existential reality. And I come to know of it through sensation. So you'll see that I become aware of the body by reading the sensation. And I become aware of my being by observing my activities. Isn't it? And you can see that the self and the body are two distinct realities. The activities in the self are completely different from the activities in the body. Isn't it? I do not require any sensation to know that I am there. But I do require sensation to know that the body is there. Because the body is outside me. So, now this is something that comes somewhat naturally to us. We are able to say that, yes, I am there, the body is there. But if you try to investigate and make out, how do you come to know that you are there and the body is there? This is something that we are going to do in step one. We had discussed about this briefly, isn't it? Now we are going to practice this. So the assignment for step one in exercise two is that observe that you are there. So observe your activities. This is something that we already have done in detail in exercise one. So that will not be very difficult for you to observe. Now here you have to observe that the body is there on the way of observing or reading the sensation from the body. So whatever sensations are coming from the body to you, you have to be aware of it. Okay. So sensations are of course coming to you from the body, isn't it? And you have to be aware of the sensation. And you can see that by being aware of the sensation, you become aware of the being of the body, isn't it? So here again, note down your observations in a journal several times in the course of the day, say at least every four hours, and try to make out that you are able to see this clearly or not, isn't it? So this is the assignment for you in today's practice session. So start doing this, start uh, observing the self and the body together and you will be able to see that you become aware of the body through sensation. So as soon as you are able to see that you become aware of the body through sensation, you become more aware of the sensations. So now in this exercise two, we'll see that we need to become aware of the sensation and study the sensation. So as we go along, we'll be observing our sensations more closely and try to derive some conclusions from here. So this is the assignment for the practice session today and we'll go through step two in the next session. Thank you.